<sighs> All right. What are you, what are you doing? Ugh, trying to clean a greasy carburetor part off my tractor. And man, it's tough. It's just one little stupid part covered in grease. And I've been trying everything from solvents to this earth friendly stuff. You know, the orange stuff? Yeah. I don't know. I, I, how do they do this on an industrial scale? I mean, if I had to make a million of these, how the heck do they clean these things? Well, Tom, the solution isn't the solution. Oh, you're saying the solvent, the, what kind of solvent I'm using? The solution is not the solution. Watch this. You would never do that with your current cleaning solution. If you need ultra clean parts, look to Pro Ultrasonics. The solution is not the solution. The solution is sound. Ah, so you're not crazy. I'm speaking in riddles, and I am crazy, but this is a great way to clean parts on an industrial scale. But the solution is sound. Actually, it's ultrasound. That's why I invited Danny here for this Ask a Guru segment to explain industrial degreasing and cleaning solutions. Hey Danny, give us a quick intro. Hi, I'm Danny Kench with Pro Ultrasonics. Hey, what's up Dan? We manufacture and distribute high performance ultrasonic cleaning equipment. Hey Dan, Rob tells me the solution is not the solution. It's ultrasound. How does ultrasound clean parts? Well, ultrasound uses a special frequency that creates microscopic bubbles in the solution. Those bubbles are full of energy racing around and they attack a part from an infinite number of angles. Oh, so it's about the sound waves and not the solution. Now I know where you're going. You're not as dumb as you look. No, couldn't, couldn't possibly be. <laughs> so anyway, you just use plain water, Dan? We use hot water and a variety of soaps to replace those hazardous materials like solvents, and some of the nasty chemicals that we've used in the past. So the water just goes down the drain versus hazmat removal for some other more serious stuff, right? Expensive, I would guess. Uh, ex serious, expensive, dangerous, caustic might be the word we were looking for too. Well, I don't ever tell anybody to pour anything down the drain, but it's safe for your workers, it's safe for the environment. Current cleaning involves a lot of hazardous materials, a lot of labor, which cuts into your production, uh, and that's what we solve. So we have non-hazardous solutions, and it's all hands-free cleaning. I just heard something that you said about hands-free, because look at my hands. They're <laughs> disgusting on this one stupid part. I can't imagine doing a rack of these things. So this does hands-free cleaning with no scrubbing, no mess, no, no brushes. We can cavitate right through the sidewall of a metal part, cleaning the interior surface. Let's say we have a nice blind hole in here and we can't get to it. That energy is going to transfer right through the sidewall, clean inside and come back out. I didn't even think about that benefit beyond safety. I thought maybe ultrasound was all about the environment. But in reality, this, this, is, this is something that's working better than a harsh solvent and it could save me labor. Could you go ahead and turn that on, Jared? Watch very closely, because this is going to be about a five-second clean. This just has cutting oils and coolants on it. Let's use a, a, a dog bowl to show you what's happening that we really can't see about ultrasound. Okay, I'm not getting it. Why a dog bowl? So he's using the dog bowl to show that the ultrasonic wave can penetrate through the wall of the dog bowl to get to the part to clean it. Wow. We're going to cavitate right through the side wall and we're going to take some parts here that have a little cutting oil and we're going to see how quick this cleans. You can see it removing the oils, coolants, any contaminants that are on that surface. Very quickly, we're already done. We've done that without hurting the surface and we've done that non-hazardous. And to show you how green we are, I could rinse this out, take this over to Fido and he could have lunch. <laughs> Fido can have lunch. Oh, I love it. Let's take a look at this junkyard piston. A lot of areas in here that need precision cleaning. Blind holes, stampings, even the ring lances here. We've done this in seven minutes in a non-hazardous solution with no handwork, and we can do the same for all of our parts. We can clean this whole basket full of materials in one uh, application. That's great. Is this process expensive? Not at all. I look at an ultrasound like a part-time employee. 
they range anywhere from a thousand dollars <laughs> onwards depending on the size but when we look at the production time that we save the reduction of labor eliminating hazardous materials and a, the most important thing is the cleaner part at the end that's what we're all about we're here to make you look better and make your parts look better Wow, you know what, this is great stuff. But you know what, I could see so many people out there saying, I'm stuck with the equipment I have and the solvents that I have. So have you ever paid for a hazmat cleanup or had a worker's comp issue that dealt with cleaning using solvents or other chemicals? I'm liking this, especially like if I'm an auto mechanic. Can I buy the unit you're actually showing us? This is stock. So we have, we have 14 standard models ranging from tabletop models to large industrial units. And then we also custom design systems specific to your cleaning challenges. Oh, so they do custom lines too. So it's not just the equipment. We custom design to fit your cleaning needs. And like an aerospace machine shop who needs to build an entire degreasing line can buy their products. Right, so somebody not like me who doing, doing no, one at a time. somebody else will cut the grass, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Here's an example of a machine we just finished. An automatic load system where you put the basket down with your parts. It takes it through a series of tanks through wash, rinse, automated dry, and places a basket on an unload platform. Your operator starts the process and picks it up at the end. And again, this is hands-free. What's the life of these units? Do, do these things wear out? This, this is a 20 to 25 year product. You know, it's amazing. We look at the ROI, most times it's six months to a year return on investment. Are they made in America? We bring the best parts from around the world together in North Carolina. Ooh, North Carolina. It's all stainless steel using the best components that we can find. We've been doing it for 20 years. And, and the first units we sold are still out there working every single day. You know, it's important that the serviceable parts are accessible. Yeah, what's nice about our equipment is we include filtration and oil skimming built into all of our larger pieces so that we extend the life of that solution. Um, when we need to dispose of that eventually, it's water, it's dirty water. We have so many different options to deal with dirty water now that are environmentally sound, environmentally safe. Hey Dan, I used my best t-shirt to clean this thing. Can you clean this? Can you clean anything? Ultrasound likes a hard surface. So if you send me a soft Nerf ball, I'm not gonna be able to clean that very well because those microscopic bubbles need a hard surface to hit against and implode. But anything else, metal, plastic, are, are ideal for ultrasonic cleaning. Bottom line is, because I'm, I'm suffering right now, I'm sold, but Rob is one of those skeptical guys. Skeptical Rob. How could you convince him to try this? So I'm throwing at you the challenge. Send me a part, a hard part, and I guarantee I can clean it. Oh, that's fabulous. So you're gonna test clean a part. All right, everybody, so if you wanna try an ultrasonic cleaned part, this is where you could contact Dan. I'll put it right on the screen. And you can see the whole product line at partgurus.com slash pro ultrasonics. Pro ultrasonics, go green. Dan, thanks a lot for being on Ask a Guru. We learned a lot. And we'd love you guys to, what do we want them to do? Smash the Smash like button. Smash the like button. And hit the bell for notifications and actually leave a comment because the more you follow our channel, it's like everything else on the internet. The more you support us, the more we could bring you great information like this. If you've got questions about cleaning solutions or anything else in the realm that Ask a Guru can answer for you, ask down here. We'll do another video about it. Or we'll, I will add on to this one to tell you more. Thanks for stopping by Park Gurus today for Ask a Guru. Thank you.